how big would a win be tomorrow night to cap off this road trip? Be very important, you know, and be from for morale one, but but also for, you know, we play this team three times, twice here in Toronto, uh, to try to get, you know, a conference win and and on a road conference win, so and it would put you at put you at one and three, which it would be tied for second, you know, depending on what happens the rest of the week. You characterized the last few days, you know, just since the Edmonton game. Obviously, that was a tough game. You lose your quarterback. And then you got a short week, and you're out here and stuff. Can you talk about what that's been like? Um, you don't really have much time to think or think about that. You just, you literally just go to work and work as long as you can, and then uh, you come in the next day and and prepare. You know, you don't, you try to utilize things that you think will work in this game plan that you've had in previous game plans or all year long. And uh, so you try not to put too much in. But I thought we had a very good plan. We brought the players in at two so they could get rest, rested the day after we traveled. Um, and uh, we had one short practice I thought was very good, and so now we get to play a game again. So it's so intense, though. Like, are you mired in the details? Are you able as a head coach during all that to take a step back and look at the big picture, or is it just trying to get everybody ready and out there? I hope I'm always looking at the big picture as I go through things. But um, what, what, what's kind of weird is you're sitting here yesterday, which is, you know, you haven't, you've had you've had that one day of practice, and then you're just trying to finish all the things you normally do, and you're like, wow, we're traveling tomorrow. Um, so it's just a it's a weird feeling because normally you have a couple days, and it'll be a weird feeling to be playing on a Wednesday night. And even harder because it's happening in a week where you've lost your starting quarterback, right? Um, well, yeah, there's always those, you know, there's certainly any time you lose starters, that's also factors in. But uh, certainly, you know, Alex has played enough, so we kind of know what he can do. and what he's. It would be a different story if he was a rookie who's never played. It's going to be different facing Toronto when they have uh, an actual offense. Well, certainly they've done very good defensively and very good offensively. So uh, they're, they're a talented football team, and, and they got Chad Owens and special teams can always be, you know, he was – curtailed most of the night and then he popped a 55 yarder so we're at, we're on 55 yarder so you got to really you know you you can hold on him you can have a great game but if he gets one return all of a sudden it turns into a, a bad game on special teams so we've got to be disciplined there and Ricky Ray you can't let him get in a rhythm and and defensively we're going to have to when they play press man we have to win some contested catches anything you can do to get your team fired up to play in that mall morning I believe that's what you called it before I don't remember that. Uh, Shopping mall. <laughs> um, well, I, I think our players, you know, we always talk about the energy playing in front of a, a, a lot of fans who aren't on your side, you know, 60 guys against everybody else. That's where we try to create our own energy and enjoy the game, enjoy the fun of the game. So what we try to do.